Hi, I'm Mark Wilson with Fast Company. I'm here today with Nick Garfias, who is the VP of Design with Oakley. And we're talking about a new product, the Oakley Kato's. Nick, how cool do I look? Very cool. Wow. <laughs> you have to say I look cool because you designed these, right? Like you can't say, <laughs> well, you, you don't look good in them, Mark. These are amazing single lens glasses. I want to talk all about sort of the design intent here, the challenges. Let's talk first with the inspiration. This is a not only a single lens glass, but it has a nose piece that comes out and actually wraps around your nose a bit. What we're calling the technology behind the lens, which has sculpture in it more than a normal standard toroidal lens, which is curved this way and curved this way, um, we're calling it physiomorphic geometry. And what that means is it's basically an innovation of optical um, design. It's a different way of designing a lens because it's got some of this sculpture involved in it. And the reason behind the sculpture was really uh, an inspiration behind uh, what do we do to eliminate more mass? What do we do to eliminate a frame? Well, talk to me about why get rid of the frame? You know, what's the experience you're, you're trying to create and what can eliminating the frame do? So, I mean, I think, you know, when we talk about, about, about lenses and we talk about frames on your face, um, I think the premise behind it or the abstract idea was about how to make this seamless, how to make this just a thin sheet over your face. The best way possible is to get a lens as close as possible to your face without obviously touching your face. You need some ventilation in there. And so the inspiration was really like fabric. If you could drape like thin fabric over your face and you could still recognize the shape of your facial structure, what would that look like in lens form? Talk to me about, is there a performance advantage to making something that fits this snugly? Is a performance advantage to building something over your nose? Close to your face means better field of view. You no longer start to have borders like in my frames right now, right? In your periphery, you get a little bit of that frame showing. So for optimal performance, you don't want to have any distractions. You want to almost make it feel like you're not, you have nothing on your face. And so the first thing is visual. If we can get rid of those lines or those borders in your view, then that's a, that's a plus too. That's one less thing you have to worry about when you're performing. And it makes more of the seamless look. It gives confidence too. That's an important thing too. I mean, when you put it on, it makes you feel very like you're ready to take on the world with whatever you're doing. Are you ready? So what was the hardest part of designing the Kato? I think there are several. I think when we got further along, the idea was pretty fluid. We came up with the idea and it was great and everybody was on board. I think the challenges were the optical, the, trying to get over the nose and some of the brow area and making sure that we weren't obstructing any optical field of view. I think that was hard. We made a lot of changes. The nose bridge was constantly changing. The second one, as we talked about, was fit and making this fit, if not better, or as well as some of our other frames that we've done in the past. Um, you never want to go backwards. You want to be forward thinking with everything. Right, it's like you're you're making this like incredible sculpture, but then you actually have to fit it on, you know, a billion different faces around the world, essentially, right. which is insane to me. And so it had this very sleek look to it. But when you started to put the, the actual model on people's faces, it would sit way too high on some people. And so you had to kind of play around the per with the proportions and the fit on different people. So these are, I believe the official glasses for US uh, Olympic team. That's right, yeah. And what's it feel like to make something that like people literally are wearing at the Olympics? Yeah, I mean, that's an incredible thing. My designers and I have a, a room that we work in that's kind of a secret room where we work on advanced thinking and advanced ideas. Um, we sometimes bring engineers in there, but this was really, uh, this this started off as a project of, you know, of rethinking the way that Oakley or or the world thinks of high wrap frames. So yes, to answer your question, this became the the uh, the pinnacle piece for the Olympics. When we finally rolled out the sketches of what we were working on, it got everyone excited and they, they had to have it for the Olympics. I love it. Well, thank you for the tour. Uh, thank you for making me look like I'm out of the year 2070. And <laughs> and I'm sorry you don't have a pair there. I, I feel like I felt like we were both gonna be, you know, like living living in this life. 
Yes, you're special. I couldn't get my, my hand, I could only get the lens blank. <laughs>